Hey guys, this is Brooke here with the Babbling Brooke Cooks, and guess what? I'm back in Los Angeles. Woo woo! This weekend is Memorial Day weekend, which means I'm dedicating this video to grilling recipes. I'm actually gonna be making something that I already have on my blog: grilled barbecue ribs. I love making barbecue sauce, so ribs kind of come with the territory. But these ribs aren't started on the grill; they're actually started in the oven. They take about two and a half, three hours to cook and then they become really soft and tender and then I just finish them off on the grill and slather them in my favorite homemade barbecue sauce. One of my favorite things about this recipe is that the ingredients are super simple. You really don't need that much. I'm starting off with about two pounds of baby back ribs. I think that's about a full rack. I'm also starting off with about a cup, a cup and a half, depends on how saucy you like your ribs of barbecue sauce. I'm using my homemade version. You can go ahead and check out the link that I have in the description. Um, to my blog post, but otherwise you can just buy your favorite store-bought brand. Besides that, we are going to rub in a seasoning, a dry rub, before we put these in the oven. So we're going to use garlic salt, smoked paprika, a little bit of cumin, and pepper of course. So the first step is to line a baking dish with tin foil, um, place your ribs in there, and then start seasoning. Before you season your ribs, make sure that you remove the membrane. The membrane is the part on the back you can remove by sticking a knife in between and pulling it off. If that stays, the ribs are really rough and hard to eat. If you need a tutorial, check out my blog post. Once your ribs are seasoned, make sure you wrap with about four layers of tin foil. This way you keep all the moisture in. At this point, you should already have preheated your oven to 275. Okay guys, so I just pulled out the ribs. They've been in the oven for about two and a half hours. They're super moist, super delicious. I'm going to slather them with barbecue sauce and then I'm gonna pop them on a very hot grill. We literally cooked it all the way through and now we're just searing the outside and really getting that delicious barbecue sauce in there. Let's see how it looks. Now that your ribs are cooked, you can uncover them and slather them with the first layer of barbecue sauce. I like to do both sides pretty liberally and then we'll add more once they're actually cooked on the grill. Once you pull your ribs out, slather them in your favorite barbecue sauce. My recipe is in the description. Trust me, you'll want to try this. All right, there you have it. Perfectly cooked baby back ribs. One of my favorite things about this recipe is that since you're starting it off in the oven, you can easily prep before you go to somebody else's barbecue. So if this weekend you're not the one hosting, you can make these ahead of time, bring them in tin foil, and then when you get there, throw them on the grill, slather them in barbecue sauce, and you'll have a delicious, fresh treat. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and don't forget, this pairs really well with my avocado potato salad. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Happy Memorial Day! Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, and obviously don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on awesome new videos. Bye!